Hi everybody, Paul here. Today I want to talk to you about why cars have trouble starting after the engine is warmed up. So stay tuned. So this is what happens to a lot of people every year. The car starts up just fine when the engine is cold. But after the engine warms up and they turn it off and go to restart it while the engine is still warm, the engine turns over but it won't start. Or it eventually starts but runs rough. So what's wrong? This problem is usually due to a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor, also referred to as an ECT sensor as shown in this picture. This is an engine control module sensor, which is part of the engine coolant system and has an electrical connection on the end. Always remember that a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor may not always turn on a check engine light. When an engine coolant temperature sensor is working correctly, it allows more fuel to be delivered to a cold engine when it's started and allows less fuel to be delivered to a warm engine when it's started. When an engine coolant temperature sensor is not working correctly, it will cause too much fuel to be delivered to a warm engine because it thinks the engine is cold. This will result in not being able to restart the engine or it eventually restarts but runs rough. One way to check an engine coolant temperature sensor is with a diagnostic scanner. This engine is running right now and shows the engine coolant temperature at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, so we know it's working fine. The engine coolant temperature sensor will be located somewhere in the engine compartment, typically by one of the engine coolant hoses. Mine happens to be located by this upper engine coolant hose, located directly on the upper part of the engine right here. To replace the engine coolant temperature sensor, first make sure the engine is cool to the touch. Simply disconnect the electrical connection and unscrew the old sensor with the proper wrench and immediately install the new one. Be advised that engine coolant will want to leak out once the old one's removed, so just use one of your fingers to plug the opening during replacement. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.